This morning, detectives arrested a 49-year-old female in relation to this incident and a search warrant was subsequently executed at her residential address. This search is currently ongoing and uh, we are being assisted by the AFP's technology detector dogs. Homicide Squad investigators have previously interviewed this woman in relation to an incident that occurred on the 29th of July where four people fell ill following a, uh, taking part in a meal at a private residence there in Leangatha. Three of those people, Heather Wilkinson, Gail Patterson and Don Patterson, unfortunately uh, passed away in hospital um, following um, taking part in that meal. The fourth person, Ian Wilkinson, was released from hospital in late September and I understand that he continues to recover. Once the search of the premises is complete today, the female will be interviewed by Homicide Squad investigators. We will provide updates as the day progresses. Over the last three months, investigators have been... This investigation has been subject to incredibly intense levels of public scrutiny and curiosity. I cannot think of another investigation that has generated this level of media and public interest, not only here in Victoria, but also nationally and internationally. I think it's particularly important that we keep in mind that at the heart of this, three people have lost their lives. These are three people who, by all accounts, were much beloved in their communities and are greatly missed by their loved ones. These deaths also continue to have a significant impact on the media, on the immediate families of those involved, and I ask that people are particularly mindful of this over the coming days. In smaller communities such as Lee and Gather and Currumburra, a tragedy such as this can reverberate for years to come. I know people have many questions in relation to this matter, and we'll be hopeful that I can provide answers to them today. However, it's not that simple. Today's arrest is just the next step in what has been a complex and thorough investigation by Homicide Squad detectives, and one that is not yet over. While we do want to provide timely updates about this matter, it is critical that doing this does not adversely impact the current investigation or any future processes. I encourage people to be particularly mindful of unnecessary speculation and the sharing of misinformation. While police are doing everything we can to ensure this investigation is not impacted by this, again I stress at the heart of these matters are the recent deaths of three people and families and loved ones who are trying to come to terms with this. For, finally, I'd like to thank members of the public who have reached out and provided information in relation to this incident. I'll again ask if there is anyone out there that has relevant information in relation to this matter, that they contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 333 000 or contact their nearest police station. Thank you. Right, that is Detective Inspector Dean Thomas of the Homicide Squad in Victoria making a statement there. They had foreshadowed that they would not be uh, taking questions from journalists at this uh, uh, media event. Um, but there, Dean Thomas did confirm that search warrant had been executed of Erin Patterson's property. That search is still going. The police are using technology detector dogs in the search. And once the search at the property is completed, Dean Thomas there said uh, that, that Aaron Patterson will be interviewed by the Homicide Squad investigators. That's expected to happen later today. Police say they will provide more updates, but they have noted the intense media and public interest in this incident nationally and internationally, uh, calling it a very complex and thorough investigation, saying they're being very careful not to adversely affect 
their work and I think for that reason they're not taking questions. Erin Patterson, of course, has always maintained she did nothing wrong. She told police through her lawyer that she bought the mushrooms at the centre of this fatal meal at a supermarket and Asian grocer in Melbourne.